As we move on, being diagnosed with cancer is without doubt a terrible, terrible experience. But Look Good, Feel Better is a program that brightens the lives of patients and offering them a bit of self-confidence, a real boost, a few laughs. My next guest is Leanne Napoli. She took part when she was diagnosed. To tell us more, Leanne joins us along with our psychologist, Ian Wallace. Good morning, both of you. Good morning. Leanne, your detection, your diagnosis and treatment happened in a very, very short period of time. Give us a quick snapshot of what happened. Well, um, I, was, I was diagnosed with breast cancer in March and I can't tell you my life was just turned upside down. Um, it was very, a very quick trip to the doctor, um, of which then I had to have an ultrasound, mammogram, biopsy and then uh, two painful days of waiting for the results of that, of which it was confirmed I had the breast cancer. And then three weeks later I had to have a mastectomy of my right breast. And then soon after that, it was the beginning of chemotherapy. Mm. Very tough time. Chemotherapy devastating on the body, as good as the things that it does to cancer cells. How did it affect you? It was, it was absolutely devastating. Um, the cancer it, look, affected my whole family life. Um, you know, but the most important thing and look I at wanted those kids. to do... You've got two little kids. You were a young woman. You never expected this. So when the physical side effects of cancer take over your body, what were they? Well, initially it was the hair loss. The hair loss that, I, that happened soon after chemotherapy. Uh, I looked very pale, quite washed out at times. Mm. And soon after I lost my hair, uh, things like my eyelashes started to fall out and then my uh, eyebrows followed soon after. Look Good, Feel Better is, I'm the patron of this sensational organisation, we'll talk about the benefits. But when you talk to cancer patients, uh, as a psychologist Ian, yeah. their focus seems to be that all the focus is on cancer. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons I love this program, because it helps you define your own life, rather than the cancer defining you. Like I'd say to Leanne, Leanne, you're Leanne with your kids and your husband who happen to have cancer. And mm. by looking good, you change how people deal with you. Rather than people going, oh my God, you look terrible. Oh, you all right. And so everything gets negative. Mm. You can make yourself look much more presentable. Or, you know, for your kids, I often hear women talking about their kids are horrified by their look. And this allows them to feel much more comfortable mm. with their kids so their kids can stay the same rather than the cancer defining that interaction. Now, we're looking at some of the vision. These workshops for look good, feel better are done all around the country. I urge people to have a look at the website because it's not an easy thing. I mean, you'd vaguely heard about it, but, you know, let's face it, you weren't that interested. It didn't happen to you. When you did the workshop, what, how did you come out of it? You went in with fear and trepidation? I did, and I came out feeling like a million dollars. Why? Um, well, I think when I first uh, attended the workshop, uh, I had, this, this was my first experience with people who had had cancer. You didn't know uh, other people with cancer? No, I didn't know anyone else who had cancer. So I actually got a great deal of comfort from the fact that there mm. were other people like me uh, who had lost their hair and who were going through a similar thing. Did you scare your children when you came out of the bedroom in the morning? No. No. To them, I was still mum. I was still Did they mum. worry about how you must have felt terrible but did they worry about you i think yes they worried mm. about me so when you put on a bit of makeup you learned how to draw the eyebrows you learned how with the chemotherapy the way it discolors skin sometimes and the hair how did that make them feel let alone you i think they were proud that their mother was going through a little, little bit of a rough time mm. but i still looked and i looked really good Mm. There's a, an interesting link here between the immune system and you call it, and I'm trying to do this, yeah. psychoneuroimmunology. Yeah. What we've now found is that the immune system is benefited by what we do. If we're positive, things like lymphocytes and, and natural killers within our white blood cells actually work much, much better. And when you're very stressed and negative, they actually get eaten and broken down. So your whole immune system works much better when you're positive, when you feel on top of things. Mm -hmm. And equally, if you're very stressed by things and there's lots of negativity around you, it actually starts to fail you. It breaks up into tiny little pieces rather than these really good little amatas that help you fight. So it's no cure by any means, but it just helps this whole system. Mm -hmm. And when someone like Leanne's going through the battering, she goes through the chemo, you want your immune system to be in its very best place. So not... basically there's a lot of good 
good science behind feeling good, good. looking good, absolutely. feeling better. And disguising some of the ill effects is absolutely critical. Um, so thank you, Leanne. You're fantastic. We've got a television commercial that we've, um, uh, we've been involved in, which will be launched next week. But thank you. You were really brave in it. I've got to tell you, you were sensational. Thank you very much. So look good, feel better. I, and it's for all cancer patients, not just breast cancer patients. A wonderful organisation that literally is what it says. Look good, feel better. The cosmetics industry is very involved, millions of dollars a year, so we thank them. Just get on. It can make you feel better. Ian, as always, thank you. And Leah, thank you. good morning. Thanks. Hey, Wendy, news time. Good morning to you, Kerry.